Please rise for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet away or the land of the free and the What are veterans? Veterans are war heroes that risk their own lives in foreign countries to keep the United States safe from danger. Veterans allow us to continue living in a free society. Many veterans have paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Sam Castello, Instructor Spiritist, Air Force Veteran. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Castello and I'm an Air Force Veteran. A veteran is a person who has served their country as a member in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard. They are people who have brought hope to the people of their country. And on November 11th, we celebrate Veterans Day. This is a day where we thank those who have served during their country during war and or peacetime. To me, Veterans Day is a day where I think back and reflect on my time served in the military. I not only reflect on my time served, but also those who served before me, with me, and after me. I also say thank you to the other veterans, both young and old. These are people who chose to voluntarily raise their right hand and join a branch of military to ensure that the United States is safe and our freedom is maintained. So be sure to thank any veterans you see today. I promise you, they will really appreciate it. Derek Bowie, 5th grade, 
Army and Navy veteran. Hi, I'm Derek Boick, and um, I've served in two branches of the military, both the Navy and the Army. And I've been asked to speak on what does Veterans Day mean to me? Um, it means a lot, and it might seem like a contradiction, but I look at it as appreciation and preservation of life. Now, the term fighting fire with fire, um, although I'm not a historian or etymologist, I'd venture to say that the term probably originated when the incident occurred where a fire fireman at the early part of the century burnt down an area <clears throat> to prevent the fire from the bigger fire from spreading and conducting through that area he burnt down. And one thing about uh, the military is I, I do feel that, you know, we should be a last resort. Uh, warfare warcraft should be absolutely a last resort. And if you ever think it's all glorious and should be a first resort, my advice to you would be please go visit the Veterans Hospital because it's very heartbreaking. And um, one thing I like about this generation is that even the pacifists in this era, uh, they have respect for soldiers and military personnel. Um, in Vietnam, you know, there's a lot of disrespect, you know, spitting on military people. And, you know, what they didn't understand was a lot of the military didn't want to be there either. You know, we were doing what we were told, but I wasn't there, obviously. But... Um, this generation has a lot more respect and I do appreciate that. And until the day comes when <clears throat> the opposing side is Gandhi or Martin Luther King, um, we're still going to need our military. Thank you. Arthur Jackson, one of the first African American Marines. My grandpa. There were no black Marines at all. I was one of the first black Marines. I felt I had to do it to perform, and that's what I did. My father has always been a very strong man, so I'm very proud of him. And a lot of the, the fight that's in him, he is still in us. Say nothing get me down. I said now, nothing get me down. And I think it's because of what I uh, went through when I was, you know, in the Marine Corps and other that nothing. I mean, I mean nothing. It was really to serve my country, really. That's what it was for. Uh, I didn't have any concern at all. I just, I, I wasn't afraid of anything at all. And uh, I felt that I could be of some use, you know. And so I just, I, I made myself available. Let me put it like that. He was just committed. He said he was committed and he felt an obligation and a duty to do this. So he was a stepping stone for others to follow after him. He had to stand in the midst of 
feels opposition. That made him a stronger man. It came down to me, it came down to my son, to my brother. And I'm just so proud to be his son. Be just a black weed, I just thought it was something I had to do. I'm able to adjust to anything that's in my life right now. And I think uh, having, I mean, growing up in the military as I did, I think it helped me to be where I am right now. Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and Marines. 